Hello everyone in internet land. I am Craig Welch and I'm here at Powers Bike Shop. Here's Chad Powers right there. This is my bike check, as if you care. I always read that you start out with the frame because you know you don't ride an amalgamation of parts, you ride a frame. This frame is a FBM Steadfast 22 inch wheeled version. Love this thing, it gives me a lot of room. Come on, come in. How dare you come in and want to buy something while I'm doing my bike check? What the hell wrong with y'all? Okay, anyway, I got some FBM CB forks. They're black, they hold my front wheel on, and they do a good job at it. I'm gonna go to the bars. They are some nine and a quarter inch uh, Credence uh, bars. They're pretty sweet. Although the crossbar being so small that I have this pad on here, every time I ride, my pad goes like that. It doesn't make that noise, but you know, that was for example. Moving on, Tech 77 lever, classic, you know what I'm saying, custom bend, can't beat it. You know, all the other companies try to beat it and they just can't. What else, wheels, wheels, we got a pair of uh, gold profile elites, laced to some uh, fit rims. And uh, they roll and they make cool sounds. Next up, uh, we're gonna do my cranks, football race cranks, you know, hollow spindle, gun drill hollow, whatever with uh, some Odyssey uh, trail mix pedals. They are uh, pretty old and beat up, but they still roll. Um, that's right on them. Next up, I got a tree, tree bike sprocket. Love these things, been rolling with tree sprockets on my bike for probably since they came out. <laughs> tree light, spine drive, 33.2. Another thing, another reason I like this frame is because I can put a 33.2 sprocket on here and it fits and it's awesome. Uh, spine drive, hadn't failed me yet. Love it. Uh, go down to the brakes. I got some uh, kink. Uh, I think they have desist brakes or something like that. When I went to buy new brakes after 20 years, I was uh, almost appalled at how much brakes cost nowadays. And then I realized, well, damn, that's why kids don't ride brakes because damn things cost so much. Uh, cool stop pads. You don't trust nothing but cool stop. You know, they've been in the business forever. They know what the hell they're doing. They make brake pads and only brake pads. I mean, you can't can't beat a company that just makes one thing. All right, uh, what else? Oh, seat posts. Seat posts, Thompson seat posts, rail seats, kids. What's wrong with a rail seat, kids? Y'all just, just go on with these damn pivotal posts and pivotal seats. Nobody runs rail, man, this is classic shit, okay? It's classic. Odyssey Aiken seat. This is one of the three parts on my bike that are a signature part from a pro that I have highly respected and admired. Mike Aiken. If you don't know who he is, you need to get out of BMX. All right, for real. It's FBM hose clamp, seat clamp, uh, seat clamp. Keeps that Thompson post from moving. Another one of my uh, signature rider parts that I love. Brian Foster stem, Brian Foster fit stem. Holds the bars, never had a problem with it. If you've ever seen the uh, classic commercial for the fit Foster stem, you need to look that up on YouTube as well. Uh, Donnie will put the link in the description in post-production. Probably not, but I say it anyway. That brings me to my third uh, third pro rider part that I love. Ruben Alcantara grips for fly. Grips are a very personal choice because you know what I'm saying? That's like a contact point to your bike. Everybody has different different needs, you know, when it comes to the contact points. The hands. I like the Ruben grips. I don't care what you like. No, I'm just kidding. If your, your opinion means something too. My Cobra valve cap right here. My buddy Reg Chris Regis. Shout out to him. He gave this to me one day at the skate park. Been on every bike that I've had since then. 20 years, man. Uh, my rear valve cap is from my buddy Caleb. Caleb Bolton. Shout out to him. Uh, you can check him out at moregooder.com. Uh, he hand makes these things out of old skateboard decks. Um, and he's a kick ass rider. He's a damn skater. So, you know, shout out to him. Uh, the chain. Shadow uh, Conspiracy Half Link. I used to go with the uh, KMC 510HX for years and years, and I still love that chain. But today's bikes, being the back ends being a little different, uh, Half Link became necessary. And this chain is probably one of the strongest chains I've ever owned. And uh, oh, back to my Thompson Post. I've had this Thompson Post on my bike for 20 years too. It was actually the first part that I bought when I started working at a bike shop. Shout out to it, you know. You get a pivotal post the last 20 years, you come holler at me. Oh, tires. SM Mainline 2.1. Great. Love these tires. There's not too many choices in tires in the 22 inch market. 
uh, especially in a smaller size. I don't like the super huge tires. Even if there were other choices, I'd probably still go with this one. Yeah, that's it. I think that's uh, my bike check. Oh, shit. Base, base Brooklyn pad set, man. Base Brooklyn pad set. Look them up. That company's been around for a long time. Got deep roots in BMX. Oh, yeah. Boom. Yeah, check that out. This is, yeah, the custom, custom, uh, custom set pad sticker. It's a Dale Earnhardt tribute sticker. Um, made by my man Rob Tibbs. Cut and bleed. You probably like it, but you can't get it. Aha! No, I'm just kidding. You can get it. And that's it, I think. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. So. Woo! Woo!